welcome to Ecoholics. Today we are going to understand various types of conversions which are very very important from the point of view of UGC NET paper 1 examination. It's also very much required in various other competitive examinations like bank exams or other different competitive examinations where you have uh, various types of quantitative aptitude in your syllabus. So let's understand very simple methods of converting pie charts and donut charts. But before we start converting, let's understand what are pie charts and donut charts. So when we talk about pie charts, pie charts have a very simple funda. Firstly, you look at a particular circle. So you have, let's say, a specific circle. And in that circle, there are sections which have been divided. So for example, we are talking about the sales of different departments or a sales of different products in a particular company or revenue earned by different departments of a particular company or let's say we are talking about India uh, growth of uh, or GDP growth of different states of a particular country or India let's say. So you will have you have seen these different pie charts that pretty much looks like a pizza and the different slices of a pizza, right? Now these sections are divided and the circle represents 100%, which is 100% or 360 degrees. So because it's a circle, the 360 degrees represents the circumference of the circle and that equates to 100% when we convert it into numerical data, right? So this is a very useful information that will be uh, used even when we solve the conversions. So now let's understand and look at the different kinds of pie chart and also know what is a donut chart. So let's say it's a very simple example of a pie chart. You must have seen these. So there are different subjects that you learn usually and uh, these different subjects then are going to be represented or let's say, uh, for example, here you have languages. So here there's English, Punjabi, Hindi, and then economics. So there are different languages over here and they have been represented into different, they have been given different percentages. For example, English has been given 22%. So what does this mean? That let's say a specific population learns or speaks uh, English language and the percentage of population that we have taken as a sample is 22%. So in this way, we basically learn what are different types of pie charts. Now, there's also the system of donut chart. Okay, donut chart basically looks like a donut. Now it's a hollow from inside and it pretty much also showcases the different sections similar to the pie charts. So here you can see that there are different items. Let's say these are the items that have been sold in a particular uh, from a particular firm and the ratio of the sale of these different items is 20%, 20%, 20%. So pretty much everything is equal over here and which is why this is the donut chart representing represented in different shades of blue because it represents the same company still it's it has different sections however there's a speciality now you would be like what's the difference between pie chart and donut chart if both of them are representing sections so pie chart only looks into one company one student or a certain population and the different multi facets that that population or that sample is referring to. Why, uh, however, when we talk about donor charts, so donor charts has a speciality. When we talk about the donor chart, here you can actually plot the different types of data series in this particular donor chart. If you can look into this concept. So there are different types of data series that can be plotted on a donor chart. So simultaneously you can have smaller and smaller sections of circles or donuts within a main donor chart. Let's take an example of this. Let's take an image. So here we have the image of the destinations for the US agricultural exports by share of value. Now, 
irrespective of whatever the heading is, you need to understand what does the chart represents. So here, the destinations for US agricultural exports. So agricultural exports are happening in different destinations. So here, the major circles, the major circles or sections are defined by these different colors. However, you can also see that the sections over here, the minor sections representing the same uh, destinations also are telling about the different other parameters that have been represented in this smaller pie chart. So likewise, you can have uh, two, three donut charts along with a pie chart inside of the main donut chart and that is why donut chart represents more amount of data. So when you have to when you have to represent more amount of data um, for a specific country or for a specific item or for a specific company, we can use that very efficiently. But now the important point over here is not to understand and you know learn what are these charts in a very in-depth manner but to actually follow the conversions. So now let's begin understanding the conversions that usually appear in the competitive examination. Now, when you have a numerical data, so you have some numerical data, some amount of units, some amount of number that is given and you have to convert it into angle. Okay, so when you have numerical data and you have to convert it into angle, what happens? What, what will you do? You will use this formula. So the formula that you use is total of a section divided by total of all sections multiplied by 360 degree. Now what does this mean? So basically this means that if you have been given the total of a section, okay, so let's imagine that this is a pie chart. Okay, and you have A, B, C, D, E, right? These are the different sections and each of the section has different angle, different percentage. So let's say that the total of B section is 20 units. Units I'm taking, you can take lakhs, you can take any type of unit, you can take liters, any unit is uh, evident over here. So B is 20 units, imagine that. Okay, and the total unit, okay, so total of a section, so we have taken B section, okay, so it's 20 units, total of, total of all sections, total of all sections, let's say is 100, let's to make it simple, let's take total of all sections, uh, 20 units, 30 units, 10 units, likewise, the total of all sections is 100 units okay now what you have to do according to the formula you have to find out the angle for b so when you have to find out the angle for b what you will do is total of a section divided by total of all sections multiplied by the 360 degrees so you are specifically going to do this as 20 divided by 100 multiplied by 360 okay so here when you write 360 degrees it's okay you can still uh, measure it okay the very important thing is when you multiply divide by 360 degrees always remember that the final unit is going to be in degrees in some angle so always remember that while multiplying the uh, whole uh, whole concept okay so now you have what 5 and 5 72 degrees so here the section b is what has 20 units and it is 72 degrees although uh, when uh, we have made this up like this so it does not look like 72 degrees but Whenever a pie chart is given, this is how you calculate numerical data into angular data. Angular data is very important because many times you will have to 
find out uh, the correct answer. If you do not know the required angular data, the angular data is going to sum up to 360 degrees. So sometimes if you know the angular data, you can still sum the different, uh, different alternatives into 360 degrees and that will give you the correct answer or correct choice. So that's important. Okay, so this is how you do it. This formula is very important. Next, is when you have to convert angle of a section to numerical data. Now simply, if you have been given angular data, okay, so you have been given, let's say 60 degrees or 50 degrees or 120 degrees or 150 degrees. Okay, so basically what we are saying is in this pie chart, in this pie chart, okay, let's say this section which has been highlighted is 15 degrees and you have to find out what you have to find out the numerical data for this. Now, what is the formula for it? Total of all sections, total of all sections multiplied by angle of the section divided by 360 degrees. Okay. Now, so total of all sections. So, imagine that the total of all sections is let's say 100. For simplicity, again, we are going to take it that total of all sections is 100. Okay, so let, let us do the calculation over here. Total of all sections multiplied by what? Multiplied by the angle of the section. What is the angle of the section? Angle is 15 degrees. So multiplied by angle of section. Make sure, make note that you do this. This is very important. Although competitive examinations are um, MCQ based or you do not have to write anything, scribble anything. But if you do not write these, you will be confused in the answers that have been given, alternatives that are given and you just probably are going to mark the wrong answer unknowingly. Okay, so don't do that. Divided by what? Divided by 360 degrees. So here 360 degrees. Now, simply you can see that when you have in numer numerator and denominator, both are degrees, degrees, so degree as a unit is going to cancel out and you will get a numerical data. So, that's how you get the numerical data. Okay. Now, just what you do is 3 fives are 15, 4 twelves are 36. Okay. Then you can also cut it by 2, 2 6 are 10, 12, 2 5 are 10, okay. And then you have how much? 25 degrees by 6 degrees, okay. So, you can still cancel out the degrees and you can write the fraction of, of this also or you can also write the decimal of this, okay. This is for your simplicity, you can write the decimal of this also. It's easy to find out now. But the formula remains the same and always remember to put the degree sign. So this is how you convert the angle of a section of a section to numerical data. So this, this section is going to represent 25 by 6 as a fraction or you can also convert it into some decimal. Out of 100 units, this will be the this will be equal to 25 by 6 units out of the 100 units. So this is how you convert. Now there are some smaller conversions, some easier conversions or uh, let's say some um, uh, small fundamentals that you can just learn. For example, when you just convert percentage to angle, okay. Whenever there's a percentage given and you have to convert it to angle. Some, sometimes there are five questions, let's say in a UGISNET paper one, uh, pie chart question, DI question. And there are five questions. Now, out of the, these five questions, only one question asks you that, okay, if uh, in this pie chart, section A was equal to 120 degrees, okay, or sorry. 120 uh, percent or uh, you can it would not be one, 120 percent actually it will be maybe 30 percent okay because it has to be lesser than 100 percent so 30 percent okay so percentage to angle would be what 
so you just have something which is 30% so what you will do is multiply by 360 degrees to find out the angle so what is 30% how do we write 30% we write it like this and you just multiply it by degrees so if when you have smaller questions like these you can use these smaller fundamentals and you can quickly find out the answer there's also one more so the reverse of it if there's an angle given and you have to find out the percentage let's say if now let's say the angle that we have to find is 120 degrees if a section of the pie chart represents 120 degrees okay now what you would do is to find out the percentage of that section so 120 degrees divided by 360 degrees and multiply by 100 because you have to finally find out the percentage so find find out the angle to percentage conversion will be the section angle divided by the total pie charts angle or donut charts angle which is 360 degrees multiplied by 100 because whenever you multiply something by 100 it becomes the percentage when you convert something so that is the rule of conversion and this is how we convert from angular to numerical data and numerical to angular data in various questions related to the uh, pie charts and donut charts i hope that you must have learned something today and we will be glowing up more such videos about conversions and some numericals about it keep watching and stay tuned to